At 11 o'clock, a DeKalb County mom reaches Better Call Harry with an unusual situation. For three years, she's been trying to fix the problem her hospital created after her son's birth. Now, the hospital legally gave her son the wrong name. Just wait until you hear what's on the child's birth certificate. Two, three, blast off! Amy Andrzejczyk is in a predicament. What does she call her son? <laughs> She's got options, plenty. We call him Jax, but we named him Jonathan Alexander. Or Amy could go with his other name. Wait for it. Legally, it is baby boy Rubenstein. Baby boy Rubenstein. That's the name that was recorded by Atlanta Medical Center when it was still owned by Tenant Healthcare now Wellstar. Amy says after she filled out the birth certificate information, the hospital called her again and again. On the third time, we actually went back into the hospital, filled it out in their medical records room. Amy says she contacted the hospital at least 50 times. <gasps> Weeks turned into years, but no birth certificate. And be snuggles good with your mom. And here's where it gets complicated. Well, Dad, I love you. A year ago, the boy's father passed away. You know, grieving is such a weird process, and for a toddler, it's even harder. Eight. Then it got even more complicated. Jax, we're calling him Jax, lost his health insurance. And to get it back, mom needed... Good job. You guessed it. It's a birth certificate. Once we got involved, things happened fast. Amy thought there was no birth certificate, but there was. That's it. And here it is. The hospital says baby boy is a default when it doesn't have a name. Woohoo, we got it. Rubenstein comes from Amy's previous marriage. The certificate is wrong, but having it is a big step forward. Really nothing happened until you got involved. A Wellstar spokesperson says records show the hospital's previous owner contacted mom several times, but in an effort to straighten things out, Wellstar is offering legal support <laughs> to fix the air. <laughs> that means mom can soon introduce her son as Jonathan Alexander Andrzejczyk, formerly known as Baby Boy Rubenstein. I think you should keep it. <laughs> Maybe not. Once everything is fixed, Jonathan will qualify for health insurance. He'll also be eligible for Social Security survivor's benefits. In the meantime, are you searching for your identity? The best way to reach me is email bettercallharry at cbs46.com.